Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is season 12, episode 5 of Cooking with Dan and Monica in the Kitchen. And today, look at that. We got 12 ounces of peeled and veined and tailless and headless shrimp that we're going to make with a pesto, tomatoes. Those are grape tomatoes, about a pint. Angel hair pasta, that's eight ounces. Uh, any good brand, De Checo, Barilla, will do just fine. Three cloves of minced garlic, sliced garlic, and a quarter cup of my world famous basil pesto, homemade, of course, which premium members can view anytime on demand. We got a pot of water cooking, a rather small pot for angel hair, but in this case, I'm going to want that starchy, salty water after the angel hair is done cooking. So again, these are all my ingredients, the garlic, the pesto, the shrimp and the tomatoes. I'm all over the place here. And my all clad stainless steel 10 inch skillet is warming up over medium high heat. And my water is near a boil. When it hits boiling, I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of kosher salt to that, to which I will then add the angel hair pasta. And to this, I'm going to throw in one teaspoon, sorry, one tablespoon of olive oil. So the olive oil is down in the pan, and to that, I put in the shrimp. And before that, I put salt and pepper on the shrimp. So the shrimp are cooking and uh, at a fairly high heat. I don't want to overcook them for sure. And even if you undercook them, leave them a little translucent. That's just fine. I'm uh, going to cook these for about a minute and a half, two minutes tops on this side, and then when they're done, turn them over and cook them for another minute and we'll set them aside. But those are going away nicely. You want to keep an eye on them so they don't get rubbery or tough. Okay. So now that they're done cooking on that side, I have turned them all over and they look like this. And... They're going to go again just for another 30 seconds or so. I turned over each one with a pair of tongs. Now, I remove the shrimp from the pan. I've left a fond in there and I've added one more tablespoon of olive oil. To that comes in my pint or so of grape tomatoes left whole. And I'll throw a little bit of salt on here, although it's not shown on the video. But we're gonna salt them. They're going pretty high, so I might lower this heat. At this point, I choose not to add the garlic because the garlic will definitely turn brown and even burn and turn bitter, and I don't want that. So we'll add the garlic at the point at which the tomatoes are done cooking, which is just about now. The tomatoes have broken down nicely. Let's move those around. And even if you see the garlic starting to turn brown, you can add a tablespoon of the pasta water to this. So here's my garlic added to my tomatoes. This makes a nice, convenient, quick sauce for the angel hair. And there's my angel hair, which has been added to the boiling water after two tablespoons has been done. My shrimp and my pesto. Okay, we're just nearing the end. When the angel hair is done cooking, I'm gonna add that to my tomatoes and garlic with the pesto and about a quarter cup to a half, you decide to thin out the pesto of the reserved water. That's really important because the pasta added to the pesto will really uh, make it a little thick. So you wanna thin that out. Add the shrimp back in. We'll mix this all up together and serve this with a Zinfandel, a Pinot Noir, or a Chardonnay. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.